Welcome back everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to make my observer list charting killer. The material list will be in the description. So we're going to start by placing down some moderate storage. So I'm just using two double chests like so. I'm going to put hoppers facing into them like so. Then on top of these hoppers, you're going to put down one rail and then three glass panes like so. Should make an L shape. Put down the hopper mine card on the rail, push it forward. Destroy the rail and then push the hopper mine cart against the glass panes like so. Then we're gonna make a ring around it with solid blocks. Like so. We're gonna put redstone dust on the corners. And then we're gonna put some blocks above this hopper mine cart. I like using glass. Like so. Now let's choose this side. We're gonna choose this side right here. And get your slab. We're gonna put down one, two here, and then one, two here. So it should look something like that. Now on this second slab right here, we're gonna put a sticky piston. And we're gonna have it facing forward like so. And over here, we're gonna put a redstone dust on this slab here, and then a repeater on two ticks right here. Then we're gonna go to this redstone dust, turn to our right, put down another repeater on two ticks a solid block in front of it and then we come over here to the right another repeater and on two ticks a solid block in front of it you're just going to repeat that around here it should look something like this now on these solid blocks here we're going to put regular pistons you should have four of them and then to the right side of each of these pistons, you want to put a staircase or a stairs. And make sure they're right side up. Now we're just going to complete the corners with a solid block. Then we're going to put a solid block on top of this sticky piston here, and then a lever on top of that. You can turn it on and then turn it off. So this will have your system off. And then we're going to put a redstone torch on the side of this sticky piston. Like so. So now your system's primed to be turned on. Now let's go back up here. We'll make a few rings around this. That's good. So now on the opposite side of where the lever is, so go inside your Trident Killer. We're going to get the door. We're going to put it on top of this piston here. Make sure you're on the inside so that it's flush when you place it down. This will prevent mods from hiding on top of this piston to avoid the Trident Killer. Next thing we're going to do is waterlog these staircases. Like so. And create a cycle like that. Then we're going to put slabs on top of the stairs and remaining pistons. All right, and then in the corners, we're just going to go up by, let's say, four solid blocks. And then in between these columns, we're going to put glass. You can also use solid blocks if you like. Now we're going to go in here, open this door, throw in this trident. The purpose of this door is to allow this to be used on multiplayer worlds and realms. So anyone can go in there, pick up the trident, throw it back down to get XP. And then this will turn this farm on and off, like so. Or the trident killer, I should say. Turn that off. And that's the observerless trident killer done. Now, a few things to note. This is adjustable. So all the repeaters, except for this one that are on the slab, you can change the speed of them. So see if you want them to be on the four tick delay, 
to make the Triton Killer actuate slower. Like this, or if you want to make it faster, put it all on one tick delay. And to make it faster, you can do that as well. I would recommend just leaving it on two ticks. Again, you can adjust the speed of this and make sure that if you adjust one of these repeaters, make sure they're all the same tick delay. And again, the repeater on the slab, you do not change. This has to stay on two ticks. And then the last thing to note is, I'm not sure if a lot of people know this, but with scope catalyst, if you have it within eight blocks of wherever a mob dies, it'll drain whatever experience they might have dropped. So that's useful with a trident killer. Say if you just want the loot and not the experience, you can get the loot and that's will take care of the experience. The only downside with the skulk catalyst is that it will cause skulk veins to form. However, because of these slabs here and as well as this door, the skulk veins cannot continue upwards into the trident killer. And then this core of the skulk veins would be broken by these pistons moving. So that is the observerless trident killer. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Until next time, take care.